Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Foster from English New Crew. As you probably know, we are taking a quick break from recording new episodes of English New Crew Haju because we are focusing all of our time and energy on Sound School. Sound School is our pronunciation and conversation course. It is a conversation masterclass. If you like this show and you are serious about taking your English to the next level, Sound School is the place to be. Because we work personally with each one of our students, we can only accept a limited number of students at a time. So, if you are interested in really speaking more confidently, improving your accent, understanding native speakers, and all of that other cool stuff, go to EnglishNewCrew.com to start working personally with me and Alexia. Okay, we will get on with the show after a quick word from our sponsors. Oi gente, tudo bem? Estamos aqui rodeados de sete gatos para avisar. Oito gatos. São sete. E eu? <risos> para avisar Don't que. Don't eat the cord. Olha mais um branquinho. Caraca, é muito formiga, <risos> muito gato. Bom, vamos lá. Esse é um anúncio. Isso deveria ser um anúncio, mas a gente ainda não está conseguindo. É linda essa branquinha de Eu olhos. Eu acho que o Cambly não vai querer continuar com a gente com esse tipo de anúncio. Mais gatos, <risos> mais gatos. Bom, então vamos falar sobre o que realmente importa. Cambly e Inglês Unicru te deram uma aula de graça com o nativo de qualquer região. É só entrar no cambly.com ou baixar o aplicativo do Cambly. Sim. Yeah. You've heard this before. Cambly's awesome. Literally, the click of the button, you can have as many English teachers as you want through classes of 15 minutes or an hour. Get your first class free using the code English no Cru. É só ir no menu depois de se inscrever e colocar em referral code. It's English easy. Cru. It's easy. Come on. Let's go. On with the cat show. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês no inglês no rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Hello, hello. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Alexia. What's going on? Hey, I'm fine. What about you? Um, I'm good. So, Alexia, if I say what's going on, you cannot say I'm fine. Do you know why? Um, I have to say... Uh, como é que era? Eu esqueci. <laughs> Ninguém me pergunta what's going on. Okay, let's Por start again. Let's start again. Uh... Hey, Alexia, what's up? N é. Oh. Só para vocês entenderem, a minha namorada <risos> fala o inglês muito bem e não pode responder a pergunta what's up. É. é. Então, qualquer iniciante, é? fica tranquilo, porque <risos> até os mais avançados sofrem também. Como é que é que eu tenho que responder isso? Eu esqueci. Ok, so if you say... Anything that begins with the question, how? So if I say, how are you? How are you doing? How is it going? You can talk about how you are with your emotions. I'm fine. And you? But uh -huh. if I ask you a question that begins with a what? Like, what's up? What's happening? What's going on? What's good? Any of those things? Then you're talking more about your life and situation. So what I normally like to say is not much. Yeah, not much. That's fine. Not much. Yeah. Not at your mice. Uh-huh. Nice. So getting off to a rough start <laughs> and we're going to get even more difficult. Are you ready for that, Alexia? I think so. Okay. Born ready. So <laughs> Emma. In the last podcast, we talked about the TH sound, which... Sim, que eu fui muito bem. 
Yes, you were. Yes, and this is an English podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to do one more episode about the TH because I really think if it is not the most difficult sound in English, it is definitely one of the most difficult sounds. Because okay. it's just, it's weird. You know, you have to put your tongue out of your mouth. You don't do that in Portuguese. So I think it's worth having two episodes about it. Cool. cool. Let's do it. Cool. So last episode, we just worked on some words and talked about the sound. But today, I want to put it into practice and talk about some phrases. Okay? Okay. So, Alexia, the first phrase that I have for you today is one that I know you've practiced a lot in the past because mm -hmm. I have forced you to practice for more or less three years now. No, it was like, either you say this or you won't eat. It was like this. Gente, no, no foi assim, no. This is an English podcast, amor. We have a very healthy <laughs> relationship. I did not use bribery <laughs> to get my girlfriend to learn English. Anyway, Alexia, so repeat after me. Three things that I think about. Three things that I think about. Nice. Awesome. I like how you have that rhythm. too. So the first part, three things that I think about. The second part are my father, my mother, and my brother. Are my father, my mother, and my brother. Okay. Can you say everything one time now, very slow? Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Okay. So just one thing. In the word father, this is the ah sound. So just like plato, chato, hato, father. I heard for the Father. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. So, one more time. Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Okay, really open that ah sound. Ah. Okay, one more time. Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Perfect. A little bit faster now. Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Okay, awesome. A little bit faster. Oh, my God. Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Okay, try to do it faster than me now. Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. No way. No way. I can't. <laughs> Three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So, Alexia, I'm just kind of joking with you, but it is a really good idea if you're training your pronunciation to try to say things as fast as possible until you cannot produce the sounds anymore because in real conversation we speak really fast so you have to train your mouth your tongue your lips to be used to doing these things super fast right yes yes and now can i say this in portuguese please pode falar uma vez que você se acostuma a colocar a língua para fora sempre no th tudo vai ficar muito mais simples Juro, no começo era quase impossível não fazer sentido, porque na minha cabeça não entrava esse som. Mas quando eu comecei a falar o, o número 3 direito, 3, tudo ficou mais tranquilo. É, mudou sua vida. E... Mudou! É, pro melhor, né? Muito, muito mais pro melhor. É, e uma coisa que eu sempre falo pro, pros meus alunos é que, por exemplo, com o LH em português, ainda sofro. Uhum. Um pouco hoje em dia. Você ainda sofre um pouco. A maioria dos meus alunos em português, eles sempre falam trabalhar, ao invés de trabalhar. E quando eles descobrem o LH, né, que é a língua para trás dos dentes, a vida deles também muda. Então, eu acho que é a mesma coisa do que em inglês com TH para a gente. Sim, mas a tendência normal do aluno de inglês ou de qualquer idioma é evitar os sons mais difíceis. Mas aqui no inglês, Sim. a gente pensa o aposto. Que você quer <risos> praticar os sons mais difíceis, deve ser a coisa mais importante para você agora. Então, e, por na exemplo, verdade, a gente quer facilitar a vida de todo mundo. Então, a gente ensina os sons mais difíceis de uma forma fácil e sem muitas regras. Simplesmente ensinando como falar. É tipo isso. <risos> Sim. Mas realmente Sim. eu fiquei 
pelo menos um mês, andando uh, pelas ruas do Rio, falando tipo, milho, mulher, caralho. <risos> Milhão. Amor. É, amor, desculpa. <laughs> okay, next one. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. So the next phrase is thank you a thousand times for those things you did on Thursday. So let's start with the first part. Thank you a thousand times. Thank you a thousand times. Perfect. One more time, a little bit faster. Thank you a thousand times. Thank you a thousand times. Great. Excellent. For those things you did on Thursday. For those things you did on Thursday. Excellent. One more time. For those things you did on Thursday. For those things you did on Thursday. Nice. And I'll try to combine the two. Thank you a thousand times for those things you did on Thursday. Thank you a thousand times for those things <laughs> you did on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try it one more time. Thank you a thousand times for those things you did on Thursday. You can start Thank very slow. Sorry. Thank you a thousand times for those things you did on Thursday. Nice. One more time, just very slow, for those things you did on Thursday. Thank you a thousand times for those things you did on Thursday. Nice. Okay. So, a little bit faster. So, just repeat with me and we'll just go back and forth doing doing our thing. So, thank you a thousand times for those things you did on Thursday. Thank you a thousand times for those things you did on Thursday. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. So, Alexia, in this phrase, we only have the TH at the beginning of the words, which is a little bit easier because you have a little bit more time to think. To think. There I got you. So, <laughs> in this phrase, we're going to have some THs at the end of words. Are you ready? I think so. Let's go. I think so. Nice. So, both of us think that the health insurance market is thriving. This one's hard. Can I try it? Yes. First, can I ask you? Uh, try it. Go for it. Both. Oh, my God. Buddy. Both of <laughs> us. No, <laughs> wait. Both of us think that the health insurance market is thriving. Perfect. Perfect. So, do you know what the word thriving means? Um, I do. I think I do. Like, thriving is really good. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's doing really well. Yes. So, for example, if you are thriving at your job or something, that means you are doing sensationally. You are doing better than most. Yeah. Okay. So, repeat with me. Both of us think that... Both of us think that. Both of us think that. Both of us think that. Yeah, that combination with think that, it's really hard because you have think and you have to make the k sound and then that immediately after. So both of us think that. Both of us think that. Excellent. The health insurance market is thriving. The health insurance market is thriving. Nice. Uh, say the word thriving one more time. Thriving. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so, all together now, both of us think that the health insurance market is thriving. Both of us think that the health insurance market is thriving. Perfeito. Amor. Mas esta frase não tem sentido nenhum porque... É, a gente não sabe que nem no Brasil, nem nos Estados Unidos... Uh, o sistema de saúde não está, não está muito legal hoje em dia. Sim, exatamente. Bom, mas a gente pensa na Suíça, no Canadá, nessas né, coisas assim. É. Então poderia ser, both of us think that the health insurance from Canada is driving. <laughs> <laughs> nice. When in doubt, always put Canada in the phrase. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay, Alexia, the last one. Think about how different the North and South of the United States are. Think about how different the North and the South of the United States are. Yeah, this one's difficult. So, in my experience, the words North and South 
are impossible for Brazilians. And what I always hear my students do is say north with an F sound where they're biting their bottom lip, not their tongue. And the same thing with south. So the most important thing, if you're listening right now, is do not bite your bottom lip. Okay. Okay. So repeat with me. Think about how different the north and south Think about how different the North and the South of the United States are. Of the United, of the United States are. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I did not divide that very equally. No. <laughs> okay, let's just do the entire thing. Think about how different the North and the South of the United States are. Think about how different the North and the South of the United States are. Okay, a little bit faster. Think about how different the North and the South of the United States are. Think about how different the North and the South of the United States are. Awesome. Awesome. Ah. That's very good. And that one is true. <laughs> yes. You agree, right? <laughs> that the South... I do agree. Where I live... I do agree. Way different than New York or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And different as well from Florida, Miami. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the real South. That is just... <laughs> The top of Latin America. <laughs> Latinos. <laughs> awesome, Alexia. So I think you are good with the TH. Do you have any advice, recommendations for people that are still having difficulties with the sound? Um, sim, eu acho que a melhor forma é... Eu acho que a melhor forma é você decorar uma frase, por exemplo... Eu acho mais fácil é three things that I think about are my father, my mother, and my brother. Essa, para mim, foi a que realmente me ajudou a entender. E realmente falar todas as outras palavras com um TH no meio, no começo e no fim, de forma correta. Então, pega uma dessas frases que a gente acabou de, de ensinar para vocês, é, decora e faz uma musiquinha, igual que eu fiz com a primeira. E desse jeito você repete, repete, repete e juro, vai funcionar. Parece bobo, mas vai funcionar. Então, ó, <risos> three things that I think about are my father, my mother and my brother. Pronto. Você tem no meio, no começo e no fim. Sim. E se você pode fazer isso, eu te prometo que você está fazendo melhor do que a grande maioria dos brasileiros. Sim. <risos> Sim. Infelizmente, Sim, com é, é verdade. É. Mais alguma coisa, Alex? Não, eu, sim, na verdade, sim. É, muitas uhum. pessoas uhum. não têm noção. É verdade, muitas pessoas não têm noção, por exemplo, da, fala, da palavra tree e three. Quando uh, vocês. Quais okay, palavras? Tree e three. The, Para que eu tô falando certo. Tree. Tree. <risos> tree e three. There we go. <risos> Nice. Quando vocês aprenderem essa grande diferença, vocês vão estar parando de falar árvore no lugar de três e três no lugar de árvore. Vai ser o máximo. Sim. Sim. <risos> e a última coisa, Alex, eu só queria te falar que é, a gente está recebendo muito feedback sobre podcast e todo mundo te ama. Ninguém <risos> quer, quer me escutar. Mentira, mentira, porque todo mundo fica me mandando mensagem, principalmente pelo Instagram, de como o seu português é surrealmente incrível. Todo mundo fica muito, muito impressionado, então ah, fica tranquilo. É português é uma merda hoje em dia. Ah, para com isso, que coisa estranha. <risos> Mas é verdade, amor, que eu já tinha, eu já tive quatro alunos que falaram a mesma coisa, que você tem uma voz de, tipo, da Siri. <risos> Que eles não. devem mudar a Siri para você. Podem mudar também o Alexa, né? Da Amazon. Podia, podia até mudar o nome para resolver minha vida um pouco. É, que coisa chata. <risos> Bom, uh, so Alexia, on that note, I think that's a good e, place e, to gente, stop. gente, obrigada. Obrigada pelos elogios. Eu fico muito feliz que vocês estejam gostando. <risos> eu fico okay. um pouco sem saber como reagir, mas eu estou muito feliz. <risos> ok, thanks Siri. So, we <laughs> will see you tomorrow. Oi, pessoal. Espero que vocês tenham gostado de mais um episódio do Inglês de Necro Rádio. E eu tô aqui pra falar uma coisa bem rapidinha. 
Sound School 4.0 vai reabrir já já. E você que está interessado no melhor curso de pronúncia especializado para brasileiros desse mundo, desse Brasilzão, vá lá no inglês no e inscreva-se já. E fique por dentro de todas as novidades e a data específica que nós vamos abrir, tá? Não come mosca. So, as always, keep up the good fight and lose well.